you have to speak in such a way that the listener listens to you being so very attentive. If you are a good speaker, if you are a listener, you have to listen in such a way that the speaker is motivated to speak through his heart and mind. Essential elements of communication skill. How do you speak? This is an award-winning photograph. Now this has it. Did you see? Now let us first try to understand what exactly is communication skill. What is communication? What is the, don't look at that first. Please tell me what is communication.
this communication and then to avoid improper coding and decoding. There are some secrets of communication. Message sent is not message received. Message received is message sent. A matrimonial air. <coughs> so for partition between mother-in-law and daughter-in-law. Both were widows. Hindu. Hindus. That means the son has died. He has mother and wife. That's all. For children. So class one kids. Who are the class one kids for a Hindu? Men dying in this way? Mother and wife. If there are children, they will also be. Section 8 of the Hindu succession. So for partition, private mediation. I said, let us resolve about other things later. First, we both have a cordial relationship between both of you. After 15 days, the doctor left. What happened? I said, I don't Jay, all of you know Hindi? Yes, sir. You said you develop a cordial relationship. I said, 15 sweets to four days. Four or four days is a sweet. I said 50 poor police to my mother in law, right? Said. My husband had said, before that I had asked the mother in law. Mother in law, I asked her what happened. Madam, I will find case close the mediation. Why? Because it was a private mediation, he said. My daughter in law wants to kill me. I'm highly diabetic. She has sent 50 police to me. I asked this lady what happened. She said, I said, I said because when my husband was telling Allah, he used to tell me, look, you prepare police so well. If my mother eats once the police prepared by you, she will forget that you are a Christian and she will take you back. <laughs> so when my husband was alive, I wouldn't do this. Now I have done this. Message sent from here to that side is love. Affection, gratitude for the deceased husband. Message received in here is threat to life will not do, will not <laughs> So there is gap. How do we do this? If I say that this was not the intention, she will feel that I am losing my neutrality and handing it over to the doctor in law. Again, I, get, I ask the mother in law, I get them back. I asked the mother in law. For me to get this diabetic. Then she said, the moment my son died, I became diabetic. Because of stress, some people will get diabetes. So she said, I became diabetic. Then any connection between you and your daughter? Eight years they have no connection. Phone? No. No communication between both of you. Okay, I called the doctor in line inside. Have a joint session and ask her what did you do after you went from the last session from here. She said, I said 15 police. Why? She repeats the story in front of the mother in law. They both have matter things resolved. Mother in law, she sent police. Not because she wanted to kill me, but because of her love and affection and gratitude towards her deceased husband. This is where we use one of the skills known as clarification and there is communication gap between the parties. Now, some of the effect of words in any communication is only 7%. The effect of intonation, voice, pitch, tone, all these things is 38%. This is where we have formula. 7% words, 38% voice, pitch, tone, intonation. Then 55% is body language. Now I will give a small exercise for you. Let us all do this.
are moving like this and suddenly because you have not noticed it properly, it falls down. So two to three lakh rupees you know, it's the how do you say, how do you use that? Now I will tell you, this is called as Corel Responding. Corel Responding means all of you will tell the same word together. Suppose you say, what is this head? What is this cheek? Like this is Corel Responding. Now with Corel Responding in other answer. This is here, each one of you are pressing now and it has fallen down, broken into pieces. How do you say? One, two, three, go.
her narrative. I tell the gist of it. She tells so many things. I have to summarize it. I have to paraphrase it. I don't use verb writing here. I say, according to you, my auntie, you got married to him 10 years back. You have two children. For various reasons, the marriage is not moving in the direction in which you wanted it to be. According to you, I will use. Because I don't want to use loose neutrality. Is it not paraphrasing? It is paraphrasing. But do I use paraphrase verbatim? I don't use paraphrase verbatim. But when he will come for, she says, if my husband give, uh, if my husband gives me fifty thousand rupees per month, one house and one land, then I am satisfied. This I will take it to the other side and I will use it for writing him. Because where you have to use for writing, you have to be very careful. As advocates assisting the parties in mediation, we have to make a note. What is it that you want to happen? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What is it that you do not want to happen? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You have to make a note. Then only we can assist the parties in mediation because we have charged them. Look, what you get after 10 years of litigation, I am trying to get you within 3 months in this 60 days time. So my charges will be so much. Please tell me. So here you make this. Paraphrase verbatim is what you have to tell. What you should talk This is paraphrasing. Acknowledging. Everyone wants to be listened to. Everyone wants to speak. When they are telling the narratives, as an advocate, we have to listen to them. As a mediator, we have to listen to them. I am acknowledging that I am listening to them. How do I do that? When I make a restatement, in the joint session, the narratives will be told by her or him. I will produce it. But what she has said so much, I bring it short. Then she acknowledged. It means that she knows by my restatement that I have acknowledged what she has said. That's where acknowledgement makes it plays a very vital role. Acknowledgement. How do we do it? By doing this restatement. Oh. Yes. What next? These are all the things. Mini push and pulls we give them. So that in order to demonstrate that we are listening, this part of it must be will further elaborate it later. So acknowledgement is another technique. Deferring. That there are so many things. Suit for, suit for partition. My brother is fool, he is that, he is this. Everything against the brother, so many things, so many accusations. But how long you give, they still continue to blame against the other person. As an advocate, you have to redirect them. What do you do? First, direct, and at times you have to redirect them also. In order to direct and redirect them, you use the technique of the thing. Let us come to that aspect a little later, how good or bad your brother is. Whether he is good or brother, would you like to have share in the property or not? Even if my brother is bad also, I want share. If he is good also, I want share. Then what is it for me talking about it, whether he is being good or bad? But I don't tell like that rudely. As an advocate, I will tell him. Let us come to it later. later. Can you speak on this? This is deferring, you are not avoiding. Avoiding their own life. The moment as a junior parent, my junior parents sit there. If they say, don't talk about this, talk about this, they come and tell madam, but junior acha nahi hai, kisi aho junior ko bhi jo. I don't know is about nahi karna. Let us talk about it later, this good. Deferring instead of avoiding. Directing and redirecting. Can we talk about children now? Can we talk about, so only about children. She tells, in a case of divorce, she will tell many things about mother-in-law. But has she filed a divorce case against mother-in-law? <laughs> against whom she has filed? Against husband. Then, let us talk about your mother-in-law a little later. Can you talk the differences that you have between yourself and your husband? Or your mother will be there. Then it's no case of divorce, you will know. What are other expectations of 
belongs the same thing to the husband also. Partitions of wherever the relationship you will last. Tenancy, landlord and tenant is good. What is more important you getting more income or getting the tenant vacated from this? Which is more important? Prioritizing questions. They will tell. From both you will get this. Whether you want to pay more and stay in the same premises, you ask this question to the tenant also. Or you want to move away from here, he will say I want to move away from here if the landlord gives me one lakh or two lakh rupees. He may say so. So prioritizing questions you will ask. Next, rating scale questions. Rating. How is your marriage? How do you rate your marriage? Is it good, bad or okay? She can say it's worse, madam. It's not good, but you will know. If you ask the other person also, he will also say. If it is okay, okay, then it's a case of reunion. It is bad at first, yes or divorce. But why do you ask me to find protection for restriction of conjugal rights? Then she will tell you in the office, and I am simplified. If he gives me 25 lakh rupees, I do this. So you will know, as a lawyer you will know that here is a person who wants some money. Okay, I will give you 25 lakh rupees, means what is your fees? 10% below madam. What is that lakh rupees? What is that? Upper layer to be upper. Aayega. Each layer to be push na push aayega. Finish. So this is how it goes. I don't say that it happens in every case. But majority of the cases, I as a lawyer have found out that I have seen money in buttons only after I started referring cases to mediation. Because earlier we used to get something in thousands like that. Beyond 50,000 rupees in our profession, we did not see money on the desk. At this stage, we will get that different. But accumulation problem was not possible. But now, because of getting the right terms referred to mediation, we get money. Yes. Now, let us come to specific question in skills only. All questions fall under two categories. One is open ended and another is closed ended. Find out your question. Open ended question is a question where answer runs into several sentences. I have to speak at length to answer that question. When you want to get more information, you ask these questions. You might have seen those who are practicing on the criminal side, or if you start practicing on the criminal side. The prosecutor doesn't do anything. He will come. On 16th of August, what happened? Tell me. Shuru karenge. Button dabba ho. Chalo ho ya. That's all. Now, I will allow you to ask some personal questions to me. I will not answer. But it should be a personal question. But it should be an open-ended question. For which I have to tell, answer it in 10 or 15 sentences. Ask me questions at this point. Open-ended question. How was your child? Yes. Can I ask you something else? How do you feel at the sickness? This can be a closed ended question also. Because a closed ended question is one where the answer is in one or two words. Good. Okay. Red like reading case, it's a question in that. How is your life after becoming How is expert? How is your life after becoming a Yes, let me ask me some more questions. Yes, quick you should be. Thank you. 
de să opere reproșe? Este vreau de dezvolt cu clozele reproșe. Astfel, clozele reproșe, pe ele și prin, sau poți să le informești pe morții. Morții de la fel, Okay. How many children do you have? How do you manage? Are you? Huh? Are you really 53? Okay, don't care about this. Okay. Now you are the sir. Go to the left. Okay. Now. Okay. Now. There is another question, which is very important question, which is known as circular question. What is the circular question? I will have died. I will have killed my 
what I love me. If she says, and I continue to live with my husband only, come what I love me, it's a case indication that there are chances of reunion. Isn't it? Kuya ne dirke bhaja di thi, abhi nahi ja di thi, maai ke ko. Maai ke wale ne bula tha ko, I would have died. Then, it's a case that, even on that day she has no intention, even today also she doesn't have intention, it's a case of divorce. These are all the things you will know when you divert in questions. Rhetoric questions should not be asked, answered. Do you think I can afford to come to CMR college and spend my three hours of time? I ask this question. You should not say yes, you are a fool. <laughs> Retarded questions should not be asked, should not be answered. Echo parenting. Echo parenting is a technique. An auto driver's wife, whose husband has got a auto which is not his own, and he comes in town cross. He has a house in a slum which is given by the government to his grandmother. And he has got a disabled brother and sister. How much do you expect as maintenance? This lady does 50,000 later. 50,000 per month maintenance. Who is asking? This auto driver's wife is asking. From home? Auto driver. Echo parenting is in general parlance at home. You ask your mother and mom, pocket money, my single room. Kitna de la pansa de la pansa. Okay, 300 de la pansa. This is echo parenting at home. But here we do echo parenting in a different way. Do you mean to say in the background of what you said about the husband and his profession and his income? What did you say? How much did you say? What is the figure that you said? 50, 50,000 you said? Echo parenting. I am parenting the whatever she has said. Chota parenting 50,000 nahi, 30,000 there go. So bracket kya ho gaya? 50 se kama gaya? Kama ho gaya. Then it will fall. Then exaggeration is another thing. You will ask the lawyer. Lawyer ji, think that you are the lawyer, you are the judge in your own client's case. Exaggerate and tell. In the circumstances of the case, for this auto driver's wife, how much you award per month as a maintenance? He will tell me, maximum 6 to 7,000 rupees per month. Here is a person, auto driver, who is already ready to give 5,000 rupees. Another player is, this is how you do this. Okay? Then there is another important thing is, strategic question. A strategic question is something which gives motion, which makes them think innovatively. A new proposals are given which they would never have thought. Then you ask a strategic question and you use silence as a tool in between. And you do not expect them to answer immediately. You give some shelter. You put a question and send them and ask them to come back after 10 days with an answer. In every mediation, after every private session, when the parties are going out, we request them, can you please stay outside? I will have a discussion with the other side. Then we have to send a powerful question to them. Please think about this question and get back to me. I will speak with the other person for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, in that 15 minutes time, the boredom factor should not make them go on a mental vacation. They should be brought back. That's why you make use of the time that is available to you, the break or the silence that you have given to them. You make them think and get back here. This is the overall picture of some of the communications skills that we use in mediation. All said and done, you must be very careful in framing the question. Arrive the question once or twice and then see what will be the different possible answers 
party can give. And you should know, you should streamline, that's where we say if in negotiation, we say streamlining the negotiation. If you do not channel it properly, you will go with it. On that day, you only ask this question, madam. There's something known as hypothetical question. It's very important. You put a person in a hypothetical situation for a while and then ask them to imagine that they are in that position and answer, give answer. A question filed by wife for restitution of conjugal rights. I am not a COVID husband. Husband at least. Both of them are ready to go. Her case is a case for restitution. You draft an agreement after 60 days of mediation. Then, on the day when she has to sign, she will tell, Madam, something is telling me not to sign. Why? What if he again pulls out my thali? What if he again beats me? What if he again beats me? These are all the questions which are on the first day also. Again, the same thing they are asking after 60 days. But can I tell you? Tell her like that? I tell her no. This was the question earlier. But now, the court has referred this matter to mediation. And yourself, your relatives, your friends, your lawyer, the lawyer, the friends, the man, everyone has spent your quality time here for 60 days. And I am here as a mediator, I have assisted both of you. And now, both of you will be signing, the lawyers will be signing, the matter will go to court, and court will also put its seal, judge will put the seal. Do you think even after this, he will do the same thing? That she will say. So, hypothetical situation is there. A hypothetical question is also asked to create doubt in the mind of the person about the doubt he has. You create a doubt about the doubt. Then what happens is, she will say, oh, it is a scenario, you know, they are putting her in a different scenario. One crore piece he is offering, you say I want to continue with him, 20 years of separation, he is ready to give you one crore rupees. Mangal Sutra is very important here, the name. Fair enough, I don't say anything. Do you think in this, with this one crore rupees, if it is given, it will have a different situation for you and your children? I am not asking you to take one crore rupees and move away from your marriage. But please understand, if you have brought one crore rupees, how your life will be. I must think about it and get back up to the I am putting her in a hypothetical situation where she will start imagining herself having one crore rupees in her and poor lady who doesn't even have 5,000 rupees at any point of time in her life. She will have one crore rupees in her hand. Marriage is already dead. Because I have asked her first the rating scale question, how is your marriage? And there are also some people in the Western context, they ask, dear people ask, do you think your marriage is dead or alive? They will say it is buried, it is cremated, not just dead or alive. This was also positive. So, have you understood all these things?
Of course, mental cases means clinical cases, we say. We know the person is in depression. We know for sure this is a depression case. This is paranoid case, we know. But we can't certify. Those people we cannot. If there are any other persons coming with them, the role of third parties, we say. They take decisions on their behalf. Sometimes they don't. We just leave it. We only say, not certain. We don't say it's a case. It's a clinical case. We don't say. It is for the doctors to say. But by and large, many of the senior mediators will be knowing that here the person is always drawn into negative only. Because of, there are some cases where we, uh, if you have some sessions by psychologists, they will help you. There are some cases where it's personality disorders or borderline personality disorders will be there. They are all basically pessimistic. Nature and signature cannot be changed by others.
the case of the recent judgment of the Supreme Court, recent amendment to section 6 of the Hindu Succession Act. We should have law in those things. Okay. Now let us go to this. One of you will be playing the role of sister. And one of you will be playing the role of advocate for the sister. One will be playing the role of two brothers. One each. And then the advocate. And one will be playing the role of mediator. Friends, how you do it? Please come.
process also can help. Look, on the first day, I'm going to tell you, this is what I want to do. Now, let me demonstrate you. The way in which you can consider the videos. All of you are comfortable in English? I'm Sushila. I'm a mediator and trainer from Bangalore Mediation Center. I'm an advocate practicing for the past 33 years. May I request you to introduce yourselves, please, so that we are comfortable with each other? Your good name, sir. My name is Radhan. And your advice will assist you in bringing it 
within the framework of law. If the matter is decided by the court, probably one of you will win and the other one may not win. Then there will be appeal and the process may prolong. So here you can save your money, time and energy. If there are any other cases pending between you or if you are planning to file any other case between both of you, even on those issues also you can resolve. So under one umbrella, all the cases can get resolved. And in cases where the envy court fee is paid, in some cases, there is a refund of 75% of court fee as permissible under our state laws. I request you to consider this opportunity and make use of it. Assuming for a while the matter is settled, we will send this agreement deed to the court, settlement agreement that you have entered into the court. If it is not settled, we will only mention not settled. We will not mention why it did not get settled here or because of whom it did not get settled here. And the matter will continue on the stage from which it has been referred to court. So you are not going to lose anything by not speaking in mediation. Am I clear? Do you have any questions on this process? Can we proceed? This is how you do it.
smooth which she has cut. Uh, we claim that it is only for uh, mental harassment of her brothers <laughs> because they are beyond 50, both of them and are bachelors. Uh, they have only one house of their father. She is very well off. She has come after four years only to claim property from them, uh, which she is not legally entitled to. Uh, because she is married a Christian, she is not entitled according to the 